Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Think Different. This is Chatriya Verman. Today in this video, we are going to see about the transportation in plants. I have already uploaded the video of transportation in animal, sorry, uh, humans. So if you want that video, go into my channel and check it. Okay, now let's go into the video. Before going into the video, Subscribe my channel to get our notifications immediately. Okay, now let's go into the video. First, let us see about the transportation of water and minerals. Transportation of water and minerals. First, we'll see about that. Okay, in transportation of water and minerals, which part of the plant helps in transporting water and minerals mean? The answer is root. This is one important point in transportation in plants. The first point also that only. So before that I want to tell the introduction. So I am telling the transporting part of the plant is root. Okay. We will see the first point now. First point you see. The root of the plants absorbs the essential minerals and water from the soil. See, the first point also the same point. The root, root helps in transporting. It takes uh, so water and minerals from the soil and transport it to other parts of the plants. It is not mentioned here other parts of the plants, but it transports other parts of plants it transport it to other parts of plants this is also an important point note it i'll put x mark here ah yes uh, first point we saw second point we'll see second point and third point is very very important the main topic for our uh, transportation in plants second point you see the roots of our plants ha have hair like structures present on them the roots also have hair-like structures. I'll draw the diagram. If the root is like this, they will have some small and tiny will go like this. Right? That is called a hair, root hair. This is called root hair. Okay? This is called root hair. The small or a tiny hair, that is called root hair in the root hair. Uh, okay, the third point we'll see about. Third point, these hair-like structures increase the surface or area of the roots and helps, helps allow more amount of observation. This root has increases the space of the earth. If the root is only like this, but it will fill the space. Like this, it will sp uh, fill this uh, place and it will help in more amount of observation. More amount of absorption means it helps in uh, absorbing many water, more water. Absorbing more water and minerals from the soil. Root hair also absorbs water and minerals okay it helps root okay okay now let's see the image image of this root hair and root i'll show ah see here here it is given you can see here water is here one minute ah, water is here the root hair this is root hair i'll mention here This is root hair. This root hair takes this water and uh, minerals and uh, go to root. Okay. Here is the root hair. See here it is given. This is root hair. It absorbs water and minerals and go like this and transport it to other plants or other parts of the plants. This is the process of transporting water and minerals. Okay. Now we will see some uh, parts of roots. Okay. We will see down. Okay, now we are going to see some vascular tissues or the parts of the roots. From the roots, the water and minerals are transported to other parts of the plants through special kind of 
special kind of tissues called vascular tissues these are two vascular tissues present in the sorry there are two vascular tissues present in the plants okay we are telling that from the roots the water and minerals are transported to other plants through special kind of tissues the name of the tissues is vascular tissues this is important note it vascular tissue the name of the tissue is vascular tissue this is divided into two types these are divided into two types one is xylem one is phloem okay one is xylem and one is phloem we'll see about xylem and phloem okay okay we'll see okay first we'll see about xylem it is a vascular tissue that is responsible for transporting nutrients for and water in the plants the root cells absorb water and transport it to xylem the function of xylem is nothing but the it is also a vascular tissue it is kind of a vascular tissue and it is responsible for transporting water and minerals the root takes uh, the root is like this mean the root takes the water and it transport it to xylem so the xylem takes the water and minerals and transport it to other parts of the plant such as stem leaf flower fruits like that uh, uh, like that other parts of plants the xylem uh, what it transports okay that is the function of uh, main function of a xylem uh, again i will repeat okay um, xylem is a vascular tissue it is responsible for transporting nutrients on water from the root to other parts of the plants it is the function of xylem okay now let's see about the phloem okay we'll see about the phloem it is also a vac uh, vascular tissue that transport the food produced by the leaves to all parts of the plant phloem we'll see about phloem phloem is the main function of the tree it is also a vascular tissue which transport food from leaves to other parts of the plants a uh, xylem uh, xylem transports uh, food uh, sorry water and nutrients from root from root this is xylem phloem transports food food from leaves to other parts of the plants okay okay uh, i want to tell here one leaves you know what is leaves leaves is known as the food factory of the plant food food factory of the plant it is known as the food factory of the plant it produces food for other parts of the plants also okay we'll see the image of xylem and phloem yes uh, this is the image of xylem and phloem okay see in xylem you can see it is a long tube like structure it is present in the root so it is like this okay ah uh, see this uh, this is the root root absorbs and takes water transpiration uh, water it transports water in this way the xylem transports water to other parts of the plants okay now let's see about uh, phloem phloem also same function but different it this is the water in this is the leaf structure in from the leaf it takes the food and transport it to this way but xylem see the uh, listen carefully here xylem goes this way and phloem comes this way can you understand the difference now you will know but the transporting of water goes from down to up but the leaf uh, sorry the food producer comes from up to down that is the difference between xylem and phloem okay now we'll see about the last topic about transpiration important topic this is a very important topic okay transpiration transpiration is the evaporation of excess water from the surface of the leaves through the stomata transpiration produces a cooling effect and thus saves the plant from the hot sun transpiration is nothing but uh, the xylem is absorbing water from the root and transporting it to other parts of the plants right if the if it goes excess of water 
if it goes excess of water it goes to the leaf on the it goes on the surface of the leaves uh, through the stomata stomata is the tiny pores present on the leaf which help in exchange in gases okay uh, it through it goes on stomata and uh, when the sun comes it it evaporates and goes into the atmosphere uh, simply we can say mean transpiration mean loss of water from the plants if excess of water is there the for lossing of water that is uh, the stomata is used okay and one more function they have given transpiration produces a cooling effect and thus saves the plant from the hot sun transpiration also keeps the plants cool and key saves the plant from hot sun okay this is transpiration that's all we saw everything about the transportation in plants that's all for today thank you if you like my video share like comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you take care bye bye